starting tomorrow, what are you going to do that'll make a change in your life's direction? Now see, if you don't do something starting tomorrow that'll make a difference, guess what? It's gonna be the same. So the first thing I want you to think about today is I want you to wake up tomorrow and do something different. Just because you did it a certain way yesterday, there's no reason to do it that way today. What can you do starting tomorrow that'll make a difference? Good question. That's not what drives success. You do. You do. When you go back tomorrow, you'll either start counting guests or you won't. You'll either look at your staff and get rid of the dead weight that you know is costing you money, or you won't. And every one of you wrote the word action down at least a few times, correct? Do it! So if you're going to be on this planet for 70 years, and things happen slower than they should, you're going to have less, aren't you? So let's all hurry up, man, and get more out of life. People who win, they are in a much bigger hurry than the people who are average. They're in a bigger hurry to get to their destination. Their pace is faster. They walk faster. They talk faster. This may seem like a very small, subtle thing, but I want you to evaluate how big of a hurry are you in? If you and I started out right now and we had a 26-mile marathon to run, we were going to race each other. We would pace ourselves at a certain speed in order to maintain that speed because of the duration of the run. And so because the destination is so far away, our pace is limited based on how far away we think we are or when we'll arrive there. Because the finish line is so much closer, we'd run full speed from the minute we took off, wouldn't we? The people that win don't necessarily have more vision than you. You think you're further away from the outcome and you jog all the time throughout your life. The people that win may have a bigger vision, but they understand how close their goals are and they're constantly in a sprint to get there. They get started earlier and they finish later. Throughout the day, they're in a bigger hurry to get to the places they need to be because the finish line in their mind is so much closer. I'm telling you, the average performer can say the same things, read the same books, yet the person who is in a bigger hurry throughout the day ends up winning the day, winning the year, and winning the life. You should be in a so much bigger hurry than everybody around you. The second thing is the way we begin our day. Either you're going to control your time or your time's going to control you. And that means this, when you wake up in the morning, the greatest thing you could do for yourself, you control the beginning of the day. You get clear, you pray, you stretch, you think, you control the first 30 minutes of your day. It sets a tone that I'm in charge of my time, that this day is on your terms. And again, you stack up a day, a year of a lifetime of you controlling and dictating the terms of your life. It will revolutionize your life. That's a huge separator in how people look at time. The third thing is this, why is a day only 24 hours? I want the average people I compete against to think they have a 24 hour day. So I wanna teach you the concept of running many days. My first day is from 6 a.m. to noon every day. That's a full day for me. It altered the complete direction of my life. It transformed who I am. And what happens in that 6 a.m. to noon, you see there's a mental thing we have. I have a whole day to get all these things done. You get the same things done in those six hours you used to get done in 24. From noon to 6 p.m., I fill that day up. And my third day is 6 p.m. to midnight. My relationships, my phone calls, my emails, the work I do is a third day. And I started to accomplish triple what the average person was accomplishing. You stack up three days in 24 hours, in just one year, I end up with over a thousand days and I'm competing against people who only have 365. The amount of work you can get done, the amount of compounding that'll take place in your life, it's gonna blow your mind. Your whole existence is going to change. Think about what would happen in your life if in a month you had 90 days. Imagine that, the rest of the world only had 30. How different would your life be? And I'm telling you, more fun, more memories, more relationships, more experiences, more achievement. And so because I only have a six hour day, I'm gonna hurry throughout that day. I'm not walking, I'm in a big hurry. I may never give you a bigger gift than the concept of six hour days.